Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechahakorash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect, starting with the Tabernacle of David under Yahweh Shai, all right, which is the governing body, all right, as well as the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord will have mercy on, all right, at the time of his second coming to establish righteousness on earth, all right, so that, um, you know, under Yahweh Shai, a righteous rulership can be set up, and that's the purpose, you know, um, the end all be all, is that the Heavenly Father, through his chosen lineage, through his chosen seed, all right, will perfect his people, you know, and set up righteous leadership, okay, a perfect leadership on this earth to bring about paradise, okay? And what does that entail? The law, statutes, and commandments being the standard of how the earth is treated and how human beings should interact amongst one another. All right. You know, how to take care of the atmosphere, how to let the earth rest, you know. And with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding under Yahweh Shai, we will go throughout the four corners of the earth, starting at Jerusalem, all right, and set forth righteousness. It talks about that in um, when you read uh, Solomon's kingdom, which was a prelude to uh, the kingdom of heaven. It talks about how his uh, 12 officers went out, you know, providing victuals and, you know, it was a it was a beautiful order. And you can read about that and you can get a sense of what's coming for us on the planet Earth under Yahweh Shai. Now, I wanted to do a quick response to this video, the fence done by the elder apostle Ramlop. GMS Info Doc uh, Channel 12 is the, uh, the uh, YouTube handle. Subscribe. Make sure you uh, you know always constantly watch him because it's daily edification. All right. Um, and it, he was responding to a, a video done by you know the uh, Elder Manatha Zakba and the brothers in uh, GMS South Carolina. Um, the Gospel of the Kingdom you know, where they were uh, discussing how a particular individual who watches the videos, you know, bugged out over a vision that, you know, brothers have been sending around, you know, which has boosted brothers' faith, all right? And, you know, as usual, as the elder apostle Ramla, which I'm almost, I'm halfway, about 29 minutes into this video, and I stopped because the elder was, you know, the, the elder apostle was making some, some beautiful points and I just had to stop and do a, a quick lesson because within the dream the uh, sister had, you know, there was some uh, heathen on the other side of the gate, which that can all be symbolic, all right? And uh, you have a particular individual who listens and watches the videos who I believe usually comments in a positive light, you know, bug out and make a big deal. And, and as the elder apostle Ramlap said, you're going to have individuals like that, you know, as Yahweh Shai gets closer, the heart and intent of men will be made manifest. So you'd be wondering why men bug out. Well, the Heavenly Father didn't want them or he wanted to expose something within them, which, you know, watch this lesson because, you know, the other apostle goes uh, deeper into it. OK, um, I'm about 29 minutes in. So I'm going to try to finish it once I uh, finish this. But, um, you know, the dude was bugging out, you know, and this is why only the men of the Lord should be uh, teaching his word. All right. You emotional cats that really don't know what the hell is going on. You need to figure out. All right. Uh, uh, what you're a part of. You need to you know, figure out what's really going on. You need to establish yourself in the scriptures because we're being prepared to be judges, man. And what you're finding out is that all men are not fit to judge. You see, we're, we're, we're becoming, you know, we're perfecting, you know, our understanding. We're perfecting our balance. We're, we're, we're preparing ourselves, what? Under the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah to be set up under Yahweh Shah to rule on this earth, man. And when you deal with the scriptures, you know, because you got Jake who, who loses their mind. All right. First, they want to save the heathen. Meaning the heathen are going to, you know, uh, have eternal life, you know, meaning, you know, they're going to be beamed up. They're going to be partakers of the covenant. No, 
All right, then you have Jake who, who, who get mad, you know, when you talk about, you know, taking down the heathen nations. Okay, so you got all sorts of manner of men who they'll listen for a while and endure, but then, you know, at some point they'll look for a reason to buck up and make a, a big argument out of nothing. And you'll be looking at them like, yo, yo, what's, what's up with, what's up with fam? Like, wh wh why are you acting like that? Well, that's the spirit of the Lord. All right. Uh, 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 showing this dude's intent. All right. And it's happened year after year after year. Now in the vision, you know, the sister saw a, um, you know, a vision of some heathen. All right. It was, a, it was more to the vision, but the, you know, the thing this dude had a problem with was, you know, that the heathen, when they saw the Israelites, you know, they were happy to see him. And he said, that can't be in the kingdom because we're going to have him in captivity and this and that. Well, that means he doesn't understand the scriptures. Now, on one side, we understand, and this is, you know, the beauty of it is that we are being uh, prepared to be judges of the earth. And that mindset that that guy has when you go into his whole argument, which you should watch this video, um, and, and the elder apostle of Ramlau goes into it. It's a very, uh, man, it's 100% truth <laughs> when you when you watch it it's very edifying and i can't wait to finish it but um it, it it just shows you that you know these people aren't fit to rule because we're being set up you know in perfecting our understanding of what the heavenly father wants because we understand that in the kingdom of heaven yes we're going to take down the heathen yes the edomites are going to be done away with we know even before that you know there's going to be a thousand year period you know where you we would we're going to take captives who we were captives to all right we're going to you know take down you heathen you heathen are going to be put in subjection we're going to beat you rule rule you with a rod of iron you know but the scriptures speak of another side of that as well to where you know after the edomites are done away with the heathen will just be in subject to a righteous rulership you see and they will have to follow our laws because remember they won't partake in the blessing they won't be perfect so they're still going to struggle and we as the leaders under Yahweh Shai will see fit all right that they keep the ways of the heavenly father because every knee shall bow remember these nations are going to be forced to acknowledge all right uh uh Yahweh Yahweh Shai and us all right now when you look at the planet earth today all right cuz you know people get all bugged out when it talks about you know the, the the nations are going to be blessed now the nations won't be blessed in the sense that they will have the laws written in them you see but the the, the ultimate blessing of the earth is Yahawashai and his men ruling all right everything being set back in its proper order okay under the leadership on earth and that's what the heavenly father ultimately plans to set up paradise on earth but there's a way he's going to do it it's going to be through his chosen people starting at his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who's going to take down you heathen and we're going to be joint heirs with him. Now, when you look at the planet Earth today, the ruler of the Earth destroys the people. All right. With, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the foods, you know, the atmosphere, you know, the Earth itself is in a state of, you know, disarray. All right. Which is a curse unto the people. Now, when we inherit the Earth, and establish the law, statutes, and commandments in the earth. What is what's going to happen? It's going to turn unto the ble a blessing, meaning fruit will be real fruit, air will be clean, water will be clean, and that in itself is sort of like a blessing. See, the blessing is Yahweh Shai in that chosen lineage, the seed of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ruling on earth in righteousness, no longer struggling with sin, and leading humanity in a way that it should go this is Sirach 10 in in one a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered this government is not well ordered you see and a wise judge will instruct his people now we know when we get the kingdom okay we're going to inherit the heathen as a matter of fact this is Isaiah 54 and 3, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make desolate cities to be inhabited because the earth is going to be in disarray and we're going to come down, you know, purge out the rebels and take down you heathen and we're going to set up paradise on the earth. You see, now you heathen will be building, okay, 
you will get the rod of iron but what we're saying that you know the 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 main purpose of this all is that the heavenly father sets up a righteous government under his son in in in, in humanity under that righteous seed be led to following the ways of righteousness and acknowledge and confess that this is the only one and true god and this is the people who need to run and rule this earth all right isaiah 61 and 9 and their seed shall be known among the gentiles and their offspring among the people all that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which yahweh have blessed and that's what's going to happen when the kingdom of heaven is established now when you get romans 8 and 19 it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of god this is what we're yearning for you know every everything is worn out you know from the animals to the bug to the plant life humans are damn sure languishing and, and worn out and ultimately they don't know but what, what are they waiting for they're waiting for a righteous rulership to be set up to where they can enjoy the earth you see and that's what the heavenly father is going to do but it, the, the 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 order in which he's going to do it is going to be through his son and his chosen people so the the earnest expectation for the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of god who are the only ones set under the son of god to rule this earth in the way that will lead it to paradise because under the rulership of you heathen now the earth is absolutely decaying especially you edomites because this is your rulership everything's out of course everything's worn out so the, the 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 creature starting with the israelites okay is is is, is the the elect we're groaning pretty much for the manifestation of the sons of god so we can be put back in our rightful order because every complaint we have every complaint the animals have every complaint you know that 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 people have it's a result of the rulership it's a result of the condition of the earth you know it's a result of the leaders of the earth you see so going back to sirach 10 and 2 as the judge of the people is himself so are his officers and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein so when we get the kingdom see right now everybody's being led into a way of error but in the kingdom of heaven the lord's determination is that everyone be led to what is right to acknowledge that the right way to do things to, to acknowledge the ways of the heavenly father as supreme and that's what's going to happen and it's going to take some time okay that's what the rod of iron is for because you got to remember we're going to uh, uh possess these heathen you see we're going to inherit these heathen as a matter of fact this is the book of leviticus 25 and 44 both thy bondmen and bondmaids which thou shalt have shall be of the heathen that are about you and ye shall buy um bondmen and bondmaids and the scriptures tell you we're going to possess the heathen in the land of the lord for servants and handmaids and said moreover the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you of them shall ye buy and of their families that are with you which they begat in your land they shall be your possession and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for possession and they shall be your bondmen forever but over your brethren and children of israel you shall not rule over them with rigor so this is in the law and i'm pretty sure when you go to the cross reference it leads you to what psalms 2 and 8 ask of me and i shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession you see most people only want to deal with the 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 physical you know the the payback aspect which that's beautiful but the other side of it once we get rid of esau is that these heathen will have to learn our ways and to acknowledge the ways of righteousness and to put off evil to put off idols you can't eat rat because the heathen need guidance you see so yeah we're going to take them down but ultimately what is the purpose to get all minds towards gears towards doing what's right to follow the ways of righteousness man you see revelation 2 and 26 and he that overcometh the keeping my works unto the end to him will i give power over the nations and he shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as i have received of my father now going back here okay 
verse 3 in Sirach 10, an unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, <laughs> the city shall be inhabited. So an unwise king destroyed the people. So yet, you know, Esau, he poisons the water, he poisons the air, he poisons the education. What we're going to offer to you heathen is going to be all pure. Now, you won't enjoy the, 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 the earth the way we enjoy it. You will not, you know, uh, uh, feel what we feel. You won't see what we see. You won't be perfect. You won't have our portion. All right. But you will be held to a righteous standard. And through that righteous standard, the earth will be, you know, paradise will be set up. <laughs> no decay. No, no, you know, no unclean animals being eaten. No polluting the, the, the water. Keeping the laws, you know, the, the, the high holy days of Yahweh Yahweh No Christmas, no Halloween. You know? The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's the whole earth. And as the scriptures say, Ecclesiastes 5 and 9, Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. Everybody has to breathe. Everybody has to eat. You know, now on the earth today, the ruler and the, the leader over these things, over the resources of the earth, he set up a system, a system of wickedness to where everything that, you know, is in the stores, every it's, it's all defiled. Plastic bottled water. You won't have to get bottled water in the kingdom of heaven. The earth will be full of water. You won't have to go to a grocery store. The earth will be the store. <laughs> and we're going to inherit the whole entire planet earth under Yahweh. so the prophet of the earth is for all and the king himself is served by the field what are the field the thing of the earth the resources the scriptures say that esau would have the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above that's the control of the resources the oil everything the minerals you know the, the what does he do he goes through the different, you know, uh, where the fruit is, he sprays pesticides and all of these various different things. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, once the heathen see how we get down, they're going to know at some point that this is the way. And they're going to acknowledge that this is the seed which Yahweh Bashem shall have blessed. These are the people we need to follow. Okay? When it's all said and done. Now, of course, they're going to go off. They're going to be judged because they're not going to be perfect all right but the mindset at the end of the day as as david said when we come around they're going to be quiet see they're going to be in order as a matter of fact let's get that in second samuel the 22nd chapter when david you know assumed his throne pretty much when he took down the heathen <laughs> Ooh. Yep, 2 Samuel 22 and 43, because this is what the Lord is going to establish, the tabernacle of David as in the days of old. And when you deal with Solomon's kingdom, you know, he went off, but it gives you a prelude to what's coming. He dealt righteously, all right, uh, 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 with, with particular heathen, man. Trading and different, you know, different things. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, hey, it's going to be that and more. Once it's all said and done, once we get you in order, you see, you're going to have to put off your idols, your gods, everything, and submit to the righteous way. And you're going to have to teach your children to do that. They're going to have to teach their children forever. I did, then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street and did spread them abroad. Okay. <laughs> If thou hast also delivered me from the strivings of my people that has kept me to be head of the heathen a people which I know not shall serve me the heathen strangers shall submit themselves unto me as soon as they hear they shall be obedient unto me as soon as they hear you see that's the purpose when the Israelites come around the heathen are going to know at some point look you got to get ourselves in order just like when we were in hardcore slavery or just like even now you know Jake you know, could be doing all of the wickedness in the world, but then when they see a, a so-called white man or a police, they get in order, right? Well, it's going to be like that for us in righteousness. You see? Now, going back here, 
it says uh verse 4 in Sirach 10 the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable and that one that is profitable is Hamashiach Yehawashai which the uh, what does the scripture say to him ask of him and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession you see thou shalt break them with the rod of iron thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel they're going to be taken down all right and from that point as we read in prophecy we know all right because uh zechariah the 14th chapter as we we'll always bring out it speaks about you know the, the nuclear war all right but it says as you go down after that nuclear war in verse 16 and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which Yahweh Shai and the elect will inherit okay they will be our bondmen and bondmaids all right which came against Jerusalem and that's all you heathen shall go up so let's read this again and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left after that nuclear war after New Jerusalem you know is beamed up and eventually comes down all right of all of the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from one year to year to worship the king the Lord of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles so this is giving you an insight that yeah the heathen they're gonna have to acknowledge our way they're gonna have to acknowledge our holy days okay and, <laughs> and hey and if they don't verse 17 says and if and it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the nations of the family of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king the Lord of hosts even upon them shall be no rain okay so this gives you an insight to the judgment and how it's gonna work meaning they're gonna have to keep our laws our holy days okay and learn righteousness and if they don't judgment will come plagues will come verse 18 and if the family of Egypt go not up all right and come not that have no rain there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles, showing you they won't have the laws written in them. So the earth, once is given unto the hand of Yahweh Shai and Israel, the house of Jacob, the house of David, and all Israel's perfected, okay, the standard in the earth will be our ways. And you're going to have to look to those ways <laughs> as the way to be. And if you don't, plagues are going to come. So we're going to judge, but keep in mind that the overall purpose of this all is that humanity under the Israelites is led to understanding what is right and what is wrong, you see, and not bow or acknowledge any other God, you see, so they will have to learn righteousness from us. So as we continuously rule and rule and rule, you know, there's going to come a time, all right, in the book of Tobit chapter 11 or Tobit chapter 13 and I start at 10 it said give praise to the Lord for he is good and praise the everlasting king that his tabernacle may be built in thee again with joy the, ha the house of David man All right, which is the government that is going to be set up under Yahweh Shai and let him make joyful there in, in those that are captive the Israelites us all right and love thee forever all right uh, uh and love in thee forever those that are miserable so our misery and our captivity is going to be turned to joy all right verse 11 says many nations shall come from far to the name of the lord god with gifts in their hands even gifts to the king of heaven all generations shall praise thee with great joy you see that all of the generations are going to eventually praise Yahweh Bashmi Shai. They're going to offer tribute and gifts unto who? Yahweh Bashmi Shai and his people. They will pay tribute. See, they will be in servitude. All right. But, you know, once it's all said and done, their children, them, they're going to know that this is the people of the Lord. They're going to bless. All right. Uh, uh, the names of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. It says, hold up. And you see, Esau could have had this, but he's wicked. See, with his rulership, he did wicked. 
You know, he poisoned. He, he, he just constantly sought to destroy. Now, yeah, we are going to take down. We are going to judge. But as the scriptures say, let's get that in Revelation, the uh, 20th chapter. We'll go right back to that. Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones and they set up on them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of God that had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his mark upon their foreheads. These are your leaders. Okay? Those who didn't bow. And they're going to be at the forefront under Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven of ruling. Okay? The true judges. See, we're being prepared to be judges, brothers. We're not just here talking shit on the internet. We understand the full spectrum of what Yahweh Bashim is setting up. As much as we want to destroy and take down, we understand there's another side to it. And the purpose of why we're going to take these heathen down. It ain't just for our own, you know, lust. It's payback, but then there's a purpose behind it. So that righteousness can flourish forever and all of the heathen that the Heavenly Father created can know what's right and wrong. Right now they're being led into what's wrong. So it says, in these leaders, those who, you know, went through hell for teaching his word and all of that, what did Yahweh Shah tell them? They're going to sit on 12 thrones and judge, right? It says, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. Now, what does this word reign mean? Because the scriptures say we're going to reign as kings and priests on earth, man. Let's look up the word reigned. Salakia. The word for reigned is basilio. Okay, Salakia. It says to be king, to exercise kingly power, to reign of the governor of a province, of the rule of the Messiah. Metaf uh, the reign of Christians in the millennium. <laughs> it's just Yahweh Shai and his men who followed him from the foundation of the earth, man. Who followed him with us every go at ruling on earth getting that authority through the most high to exercise the highest influence to control and what are, what is the purpose we're going to influence the heathen in the way of righteousness we can't forget that part see so yet yeah, as we rule there's going to be particular heathen we may get cool with okay you you're a good servant you know you, you, you teach your people well, you know, it may, they may be blessed because of that. It's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that don't mean that they're going to get the laws written in them and reign for, and sit on thrones. No. All right. But you all, a lot of you look to Esau's way of ruling and thinking we're going to take that way into the kingdom of heaven and rule like him. No, that's not the Lord's purpose, man. You know, cutting off rods and you know, the poisoning the foods and all of that. Nah, we're not going to do that. Because first of all, you're not going to be allowed to eat unclean foods in our kingdom. We're not going to be that type of ruler. It's going to be harsh, but it's going to be a, a, a harsh in righteousness. See, Esau's harsh in wickedness. <laughs> it says, now they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. This is that first a thousand years. This is that first dominion. That doesn't mean after that there's going to be, you know, because the scriptures clearly say that the kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. So they lived and reigned with Hamashiach, had influence for a thousand years. For a thousand years, that's how long it's going to take to clean everything up. And for the whole earth, you know, even after they see the judgment of Esau to know, damn, the, this is the people. We, we, we shouldn't buck up against them, although they're still going to have their fault. After that, could you imagine that a thousand years, they're going to be on point. They're going to be like, this is shit. We can't do this. We can't do that. This is the way we need to live to get in good graces with them. But the rest of the dead, now who are the dead? Okay, the heathen nations. They're not given the ways of life. You see, live not until the a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. After the a thousand years were finished, then they'll be able to have some sort of freedom. It, it talks about that in the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, meaning they'll know right from wrong at that point. And we'll, we'll, we'll be like, well, you go over here. 
you're being you're going to be on the jurisdiction of this representative of israel you know yada 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 this is what you do you know the first fruits of your land you know you you bring to us you know maybe some n nice incense that grows wherever you at you you're going to need to uh, uh uh tithe and give your first fruit offerings unto yahweh bashim shai okay and from that point you know as long as you're keeping all the laws you'll be all right but when you go off we'll show up and judge now when you get daniel the seventh chapter and to a lot of Israelites, that's weak, you know, because they want to rule like Esau. They just want to kick ass for eternity. Now, we are, in a sense, you know, but the, the, the overall purpose of that is that they come back to what's right when they go off. You see? This is uh, D Daniel chapter 7. This is after the, uh, you know, Esau's rulership is taken down and whatever. Daniel 7 and 12, as concerning the rest of the beast, which are the heathen nations, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season in time. You see that? Their lives were prolonged, all right, meaning they were able to have some sense of freedom. They were able to, you know, breathe, you know, after that a thousand year period, you know, after that, you know, of course, they're not going to have dominion, you know, anymore, but they'll be good. All right, they're not going to uh, 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 be given to the burning flame like the Edomites. Now, let's get this in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Give me one second here. One second here. This is 2nd Edris, or uh, <laughs> Isaiah chapter 14. Okay. When Esau falls, Lucifer, when he's taken down, all of that, you can read that, the king of Babylon. <laughs> Isaiah 14 and 16. And they that uh, see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms? Is this the man? You know, this is once Esau falls and, you know, because he's going to be at the forefront of our judgment, too. You know, the heathen are going to, you know, get theirs. But they're going to be looking at Esau like, damn. That made the world a wilderness that destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. It's Esau and his rulership. Wicked. All right. And a lot of you want to take the way Esau ruled and we going to rule like that. No. He's going to be paid back double. All right. But it's going to be based in righteousness, man. And for the benefit of righteousness being forward, it said, all the kings of the nations, these are the heathen. Even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out like a grave, all right, out of thy grave, like an abominable branch, as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shall not be joined with them in burial. Because they're going to be buried, their, their rulership, their dominion is going to be taken away, but you're not going to be joined with them, okay? All of them, they're going to have a glory. They're going to have, you know, a, a, a lot, you know, in the earth, an inheritance under the Israelites, all right? They're going to ultimately, you know, be subject, but they're going to be, you go here, y'all go here, and you're going to be servants and handmaids forever and ever, but in righteousness for the purpose of of assisting the Lord's people, all right, forward a righteous rulership. You see, you're not going to be joined with the rest of the heathen. Why? Because you have destroyed the land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers will never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of thy fathers. And as the scriptures say, the people are going to be astonished <laughs> at his day. Astonished. Let me see where that's at. Job. Or is that Proverbs? I should be astonished at his day. Hold up.
Yep. Job 18 and 20. <laughs> 18 and 18. He shall be driven out all right, uh, from light into darkness and chased out of the world. And why is this going to happen to Esau? Because he's the man of sin. He represents everything wrong with the earth. He shall have neither son nor nephew among his people, nor any dwellings among his uh, remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. So when the heathen see Esau's judgment, they're going to be like, damn. That's going to be one of the main reasons that they're going to be like, man, we can't come up against this people. We need to follow their way. Because remember, we're going to have the new bodies, you know? <laughs> We're going to be good. They're going to be like, damn, the, the, this is it. All right. And they're going to they're going to love it. You see, they may envy us at points and be mad that thing. But 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 overall. It ain't going to be nothing they can do. All right. So this is Tobit Marie chapter 13 and 11 again. It says many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with joy. This is the purpose of what we're setting up, that the whole earth acknowledges the power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and it's going to be through his people. Okay? Cursed are all they which hate thee. Okay? The heathens get proud. Hey, they're going to be cursed. See? When they get mad and feel some type of way and, you know, want to try to establish their... Hey, cursed curses are going to come unto you just like curses came unto us for breaking the laws where well, you gonna go through hell if you want to establish a, a, a sin and that's a righteous thing and blessed be they which shall love thee forever so the nations that love us keep our ways pay their tribute teach their people to do right you know teach their people and forward our way amongst their children amongst their their, their families it said there's gonna they're gonna be blessed, man. Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, for they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the, the just, man. And it starts with the Israelites. Once that is is set up, then everything which follows is gonna be put in order. Used for its intent. Oh, blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. See the you know, the heathen at some point they're gonna be like, damn, the water is clear. The, the food is, you know, better. Our families are better. We have, you know, the, 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 this, the air is clean. You know, the land, the, the earth is green. You know, chariots, they're going to be like, wow. <laughs> you don't want to see that? <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> oh, man. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall rejoice for thee. When they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. Let my uh let my soul bless God the great king, for Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stone. See, gold go be in the streets. The people, man, when when they see our kingdom, they're gonna be like, damn. Now, yeah, it's gonna be that a thousand year point to where it's gonna have to be instilled in them, but just imagine, man, thy walls and battlements with pure gold. The streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with burel and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. All her streets shall say, Alleluia, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be God, which extolleth it forever. And I'll end it off here in um, Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. All right. And this is far better than some damn teaching hell. Yeah, you, you nations, hell is coming to you. You're going to be catching hell. All right. And you Edomites are going to be absolutely done away with. All right. But once we set up shop on the earth and rule as kings and priests, we're going to issue forth the law. The law shall go forth. That's going to be the standard of how you heathen should live. And that's a that's a beautiful thing. That's a blessing above what the hell is happening to you in this earth. <laughs> All right. This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. O Lord, my strength and my fortress 
in my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and say, Surely have our fathers inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. So the people are going to realize that idol worship and wickedness and vanity and artificial intelligence and GMO foods and all of the things that they boasted themselves in. Esau being, you know, the, 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 the children of Israel, all of these things that they've boasted in and inherited were lies. And they're going to put those ways off. OK, and, and, and cling to our way. All right. But it's not going to, you know, be just as you snap the finger and it's going to be like that. Hey, it's going to take that rod of iron. What do you think that rod of iron is for? <laughs> that rod of iron that we're going to rule with under Yahweh Shai, who he's going to be the first to have the rod. Under him having a rod, we get the rod. Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have, hold fast till I come already. The truth, all right? The 100% truth, all right? The gospel. But we know there's another glory. And he that overcometh in keeping my works unto the end, and the elect were chosen from the foundation of the earth to overcome. To him will I give power over the nations. He shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as i have received of my father and i will give him the morning star the laws written in them okay the true light written in our inward part and he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches so yeah you heathen will be taken down yeah the rod of iron will be there but what is the purpose of it payback all right but that ultimately above that you acknowledge righteousness and follow the ways of peace all right which you've inherited so many lies okay that you can't see it as being profitable but what we're teaching is the most profitable okay uh, uh thing man and you all see micah 4 and 1 but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow into it like the scriptures say, our people have ran from mountain to hill, you know, and have forgotten their resting place. That represents uh, leadership. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, you know, all Israel will be perfect. You see? And people are going to flow into our way, our government, what we push forth. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go uh, to the mountain of the Lord of uh of, a, of of the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem no more war all right no more nuclear missiles no more guns no more you know stupid petty dumb violence all right no more IDs no more uh, registration just pure righteousness man and there's going to come a point where the heathen will see that this way is actually the, 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 the best way to be. They're going to be in order. They're going to reverence us. All right. And it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. So I just wanted to uh, tap into that real quick. Um, Lord willing, you all were edified. I'm going to go back. I believe I was like 29 minutes into this video and finish it. And uh, we'll end it off there. Shalom.